I'm wondering if you guys ever considered whitening your teeth at home using charcoal toothpaste or maybe baking soda. If you have or wonder how to use them, then this video is for you. Oh, it's recording. Um, hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Teresa. It's so nice to have you guys here. 今天这个影片是英文的,可是会有中文字幕,希望你们也会喜欢. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. Today, we're going to look at Linda Chang's most recent upload on her YouTube channel. In her video, she shared her at-home tea whitening secrets with her audience. I want to watch this video with you to see what we can learn from her and at the same time to share my knowledge in teeth whitening. In case you don't know who Linda Chung is, Linda Chung Zhong Jiaxing, she's an actress, songwriter, and a singer from Hong Kong. She is originally from Vancouver. She was born and raised in Vancouver, so we're kind of, you know, homies, like close. <laughs> okay, so I gotta support her regardless. Okay, well first, I think the toothbrush might be a little bit too big for her. The brush head looks too large. When you buy a toothbrush, make sure that the toothbrush head is as long as the length of two teeth combined. You don't want to go longer than that or else the toothbrush adaptation to your teeth wouldn't be so ideal. Okay. Cool. Baking soda. Toothpaste. I have so much to say about these ingredients. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get the information out of the way so you're informed continuing watching this video. Charcoal toothpaste or charcoal something has been such a big hype in teeth whitening industry. What is exactly activated charcoal though? Is it the same as the charcoal you see on barbecue grill? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's pretty much the same but worse. Activated charcoal was produced at a much higher temperature, so there are more surface areas per particles to bind to chemicals, toxins, or ions. It's great in water filtering system that we can filter out all the toxic chemicals that we don't want. It's also great in a hospital where a doctor will use it on people who overdose on toxins. However, our mouth, we don't have a lot of these harmful toxins or chemicals. What we have is stain and bacteria, which is plaque, which can be removed effectively just by using an electric toothbrush and proper flossing. So the chemical binding property of charcoal is actually quite useless when it comes to your teeth. How charcoal being a great ingredient in teeth whitening is the fact that they are super abrasive. So you can think of it as a very hardcore, intense exfoliator for your teeth, but there might be a problem, which we will talk about later in the video. Baking soda, on the other hand, is much more mild and much more safe to use, but baking soda is actually a lot more mild than many of whitening toothpaste or regular toothpaste you see in the market. Um, so I don't really know how effective it is for baking soda to remove stain. But if you're wearing braces, I will advise you to stay away from baking soda because baking soda can break away the glue on your brackets. What do you do? Here you go. Let's see. It's water. Wet your toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Good. Hold on. Good. Take a pill out. Oh, it's a pill. By the way, charcoal, if you have diarrhea, you can... A lot of people will take charcoal to treat diarrhea because charcoal is known for its ability to bind and expel toxins from your stomach. You're taking too... Holy smokes, this is going too long. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <sighs> She's so cute. Okay, there you go. Okay. She's so pretty. Put your toothpaste on first. Okay. Okay. Open this. Is 
that the right amount of toothpaste to use? On a daily basis, you only need about pea size of toothpaste. You don't need that much toothpaste. But for her, she wants to use toothpaste as a medium to carry charcoal powder, so it makes sense for her to use that much. Let's pal up. Put some baking soda in there. Oh god, my hands are dirty. Ooh, that's a big mess. Time to brush your teeth. Oof, 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 oof. Brush. Oh my god, that's very hard. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, please don't brush your teeth so hard. Oh my gosh. Um, especially you're using such an abrasive material and brushing so hard at the same time, you're going to strip away your enamel. Over time, what will happen is your enamel will get thinner and thinner and the underlying dentin, which is the second layer of your tooth, will be exposed. Dentin is a lot more yellow than your enamel and a lot more sensitive and prone to damage. So that is an irreversible damage you will cause on your teeth. So please, I will make a video later on how to properly brush your teeth. But when you brush your teeth, you want to brush in a gentle circular motion and two teeth at a time and gently brush from the gum line towards the teeth. The rule of thumb is you should try to brush your skin. If your skin is hurting, then you're brushing too hard. I know our teeth feels like as hard as brick, but no, our teeth is still like, you know, living structures, part of your body. So please take care of your teeth, like how you take care of your skin with gentle love and care. And that's actually a lot of people's mistake. When they brush their teeth, they go like this way. Charcoal is always a mess. Okay, I'm gonna brush one more time. So because charcoal actually doesn't taste good at all. I don't know why it's such a big hype. It's messy, it tastes bad, and it's bad for your teeth. I'm done now. Okay. My teeth are white when I smile. Mm -hmm. After you use charcoal product, your teeth will feel squeaky clean and feels whiter. It's because it's very effective at removing these external stain from tea, from food, and coffee. So she's absolutely right. She is so gorgeous, isn't she? It's wider, trust me. So you do it around three days in a row. Make sure when you do it, the gums don't brush too hard like me. <laughs> she knows. She knows she's brushing too hard. Okay, good. I'm so sorry. I didn't set a good example. Aww. Brush lightly up and down because the, the the charcoal actually gets rid it just it drags things out so she's she's correct here charcoal as i mentioned before charcoal does have the property of dragging chemicals out binding chemicals and removing them but that's not how they whiten your teeth okay it's a big misconception in public right now and it, it brings all that bad stuff out and once you finish brushing Mm. You lift yes. your teeth, it feels squeaky okay. clean, uh, all that little gross stuff went away. Removing these stains don't actually whiten your teeth. They just make your teeth return to its original color. The only ingredient that can whiten your teeth is hydrogen peroxide. It, like things that you can't get out with just toothpaste, it just really drags it all out. Mm takes all the impurities away and then it, the black charcoal the little little dots those little pieces acts as an exfoliator and it just that's why in the past in the 90s some toothpaste actually contains like sand because they're so abrasive they act like exfoliator and then more studies came out to show that our enamel it's not as tough as you think and you can easily damage it if you use very abrasive particles just exfoliates your teeth. Don't do it too often, but if you do it like, I don't know, 
once a month or whatever, three days in a row or something, mm -hmm. I think it's okay. That's how I keep, that's how I've been keeping my teeth. So it's good. At least she's not using it every day for a long time. Using it, she said, three days in a row and once a month. It might be okay. It depends on individuals, but I just feel like why risk it? Because using electric toothbrush and a regular toothpaste are more than enough to keep these stain away. Unless if you're smokers, you collect a lot of stain. But if you're just like you and me, occasionally drink a little bit of coffee, tea, or eat curry sometimes, these colored food, just drink with straw whenever you can and rinse with water after you consume them. That will keep your stain at a minimum. Unless if you have a lot of fillings on your teeth or if your teeth have these micro cracks that can collect and absorb stain more easily. In that case, you might need to visit your dentist to see if we can smooth out the fillings for you or clean your teeth with ultrasonics. White naturally. And a lot of people ask me, they thought I did teeth whitening, but I didn't. I mean, this is just my natural way. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other ways up there that I would love to explore, but this so far has worked for me. So I hope it will help you as well. I hope you like my video, and if you do, please subscribe. She's so sweet. Thank you so much for sharing your way to, to help other people. And there are actually a lot of YouTubers, Instagrammers out there that are advocating for charcoal use or these natural remedies. But from a dentist's point of view, I still want to strongly advise to kind of stay away from these natural products because they're not regulated by dental board. You don't know how abrasive they are. And once you notice that your teeth are becoming more yellow or sensitive, it is irreversible. It's painful and it's going to be very expensive. So just be careful. A lot of people want to be healthier and they are over focused on the word natural. But natural doesn't necessarily mean better or safer than unnatural or synthetic material. Everything is made of chemicals. We are made of carbons, you know, humans are made of carbons. So things that are occurred naturally. It can't just mean it's naturally bad for you. You know what I mean? So be careful with what you get into when you look at these natural remedies. I had a patient, she is very healthy and really baked on using natural products. She only uses salt and baking powder or baking soda to brush her teeth. And unfortunately, she came to see me with sensitivity in her teeth. She thought maybe her gums are receding. I took a look. Her mouth are full of decay cavities because she's not using toothpaste with fluoride in it. Salt with manual toothbrush. It's like scraping your skin with rocks. So unfortunately, her enamel has been all stripped away. Um, her teeth are yellow or sensitive now. It was very unfortunate. So I really don't want that to happen to you. Okay. I also do not want to scare you away. I talked a lot about abrasiveness. How do we even measure abrasiveness in products and which product it's safe to use then? But how abrasive can we go to effectively remove stain but at the same time maintaining health of your teeth? Dental products, especially toothpaste, their abrasiveness is measured in the unit of RDA stands for relative dentin abrasion and as recommended by Canadian Dental Association or American Dental Association, anything with RDA less than 250, it's safe to use every day for a lifetime use. You can find the chart online. It's got different brands. Most of the toothpaste like Colgate, Sensodyne, they are all under 250. So when you buy your toothpaste, you can look for a seal verified by ADA or Canadian Dental Association to be sure that it is safe to use. 
Some of the charcoal toothpaste is actually less than 250. Not all charcoals are made the same. Some charcoal is formulated in a different way that the RDA can be lower and more acceptable. However, I just feel like why risk it? It doesn't taste good. It makes a mess and if it's less than 250 RDA, it's not doing more than the regular toothpaste. So I personally would not recommend long-term use of charcoal. Especially a lot of these charcoal products are unregulated. Proper oral care requires a combination of proper techniques and the right products, which is what my channel is about. I want to teach you how you can safely and effectively take care of your teeth at home so you don't have to visit us so often. Nobody likes going to the dentist. I mean, including myself, it's expensive and not the most comfortable thing. I, I get it. For all the fans of Linda's out there, I don't mean anything disrespectful or criticizing today. In fact, I'm so thankful that she made this video so I can share my two cents. Most importantly, thank you guys for watching this video until now. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I appreciate you so, so much. If you have any question or you have any topic that you would like me to talk about, please leave a comment below. I would love chatting with you guys down there. I will see you soon in my next video.